Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, we normally open up booster boxes uh, of all the new sets that come out. Uh, today we're doing something different. Today we're going to open up uh, two boxes. Um, Essentially, there, there's no real commons or uncommons that are actually worth anything in this set. Um, and while they're fun to play with, um, I don't think that's why you guys really watch us. You look to see if you know, we pull awesome stuff. So that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to open uh, both boxes uh, on this. And, um, yeah, we're just going to go through the rares. So we're going to see how that goes, see how you all fare with that. So, yeah, we're going to crack open two boxes here. Um, and while I'm getting this stuff set up, go ahead and take this opportunity uh, to mention this is one of those times, comment on this video, and in one of our next videos, we'll go ahead and pick uh, someone at random uh, from the comments to win some cards. That's what we'll be doing. So uh, I'm going to do my best to not forget this week, because whenever I forget, then usually the following week, uh, we end up uh, giving away even more stuff, which actually isn't too bad either. I, I kind of like giving stuff away. I like opening packs for everybody. So, all right, let's get our packs. Two boxes worth. Like I said, we're just going to do rares on this, um, and hopefully it doesn't take uh, too long to get through this stuff. Uh, and I apologize if uh, some of this stuff just seems... Uh, like, I don't know what I'm doing because we've never done this before. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack open a pack. Uh, like I said, just the rare is what we're looking at. We're looking at Experimental Frenzy. And you know what? We completely forgot. Um, okay, so two packs here. These two packs are going to go to my son, Wesley. Going to go to his uh, build a pack box, if you will. Um, he has his own box where I, get, I take uh, two packs from every set and put them aside for him. So that's going aside there. Um, and then for these next couple of packs, let's see what we can uh, open up for our patrons. Anything good in this is going to go to the Patreon Build-A-Pack box. Uh, and what did we get? We got a Light of Legion. That's not too great. All right, we'll put that aside. We'll open up this pack and see what we can do for our patrons. All right, anything good, anything good. We got a camaraderie. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. All right, one more. We'll do one more for our patrons. I, I, I want to make sure they get, get some good stuff here. So we got a, hey, there's a foil goblin electromancer. So that's not too shabby. And then a guild mages forum. Okay, so, all right, so one more pack. <laughs> and uh, one more pack. And, and this is... Uh, what we're going to give to our, our patrons in the Build-A-Pack box. Uh, good lord. Something good, something good, something good. Hey, there is a Lazav, the Multifarious, and a Foil uh, Selective Snare. So that's not too shabby. Okay, so we're going to take this stack, and we will mix uh, some of this. Not all of it, because we don't want just jumping in going into the patron box. But um, that will be our uh, some new stuff going into the Patreon build a pack box all right now on with the show this rare is pelt collector not too shabby all right um now down in the comments below i'd love to hear what you guys think of this kind of just breezing through packs and only covering uh the rares um i know it's different um we got we got a uh chamber sentry um i said i know it's different um but uh we, we'd like to open up as much as we can on here. Um, and like I said, there's just really nothing of value in the uh, uncommon slots in uh, in this set right now. So we got Ionize, and hey, we did get an emblem. That's kind of cool. So like I said, we're, just, we're trying to give bring stuff to you a little quicker here. We got a, we got another foil. We got a bounty agent. We got a foil uh, rubble belt bore. All right. Actually, watched someone at the local game store uh, earlier this week. 
was opening up all the packs and wasn't actually looking at the rares. We got a find and finality. Uh, yeah, he was just opening packs and then setting them aside. Uh, and now you like, put them in the box without looking at what the rare is. And I'm like, what, you know, I asked him what he was doing. He's like, you know, I'm going to get everything open. I'm going to take a look at it. I'm like, you have a lot more willpower than me, my friend. Because I could not do that. All right. Well, we got a Demir Spy button. That's kind of good. We got a Blood Operative. Another emblem in there as well. All right. What do we got? What do we got? We got a... Oh. The Errata that I mispronounced when I first opened up. Uh, Atrada. That seems like a fun card. It's, uh, yeah, it seems like it could be interesting. And, oh, we get a foil, uh, vivid revival. Not exactly the foil rare we want, but we'll take it. And we get, really? Foil vivid revival and a vivid revival in the same pack. Isn't that just fun? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. Next rare is... We got a Midnight Reaper. Okay. Tell you what, how are we doing on time here? Oh, we're only six minutes in. We already got quite a few opened up. All right, we got another foil. We got a uh, Devkaran Dissident. And then for our rare, we got a Unmoored Ego. Packs flying everywhere. We got, oh, we got an Aurora, the Exemplar of Justice. First Mythic of the box. All right, did I? Okay, I thought I saw something in there, but I did not. All right, next, I'm going to continue on chugging through this. Uh, like I said, my goal is to keep these videos actually somewhat short. Uh, I don't like doing long videos, because I know you all don't like watching long videos. Uh, what do we got here? We got a Bounty of might next pack control oh steam vents okay that's good uh yeah i don't know if you, any of y'all saw the video we did for uh our one of our patrons marcus mills um while his box was not bad i think between his box uh the build a pack and then his extra pack um, I'm going to say it was like close to $150 worth of cards, um, but not a single shock land in it. I, I just, I could not believe it. Uh, oh, we got a Dream Eater. This guy, this guy is nuts. Uh, second myth of the, mythic of this particular box. Uh, but yeah, Dream Eater, I'm, I'm loving that guy. I mean, yes, he, he's six mana. He is intensive, but I mean, for blue, it's not entirely bad. Um... And it just, it's everything Blue wants to be doing. And we got an Erratic Cyclops. Next pack, we got a Chromatic Lantern. All right, let's put push that stack off to the side there. Having issues opening packs. Just curious, what is some of the good stuff y'all have opened? You got Deafening Clarion. You know, anything crazy, anything you know, uh, insane. Um, I know at uh, pre-release, I watched some guy pull a uh, same pack, Watery Grave, Foil Assassin's Trophy. Uh, we did get a Foil Cackling Drake. And then our rare is Sacred Fountain. That's not a bad pack. I will take that. All right, next rare is... Uh, we got a Divine Visitation. All right, I actually kind of want that card. Get this somewhat organized here. Third Mythic of the box. Now, if the status quo follows, we should have eight Mythics come the end of this opening. Uh, we got a Watery Grave. All right. Uh, 
tell these packs are giving me some issues. I'm just, I'm shredding them. And we got a Night of Autumn. All right. Tell you what, I'm, I'm torn on what to play just because there's so many good options right now. Um, I'm loving the heck out of Is It, but I'm really liking Boros right now. We got another Bounty Agent. Um, Boros seems the way to go, but man, Is It just looks so fun right now. There's just so many shenanigans you can do uh, between, uh, you know, Jump Start and just so much. Winner, winner, chicken dinner for Assassin's Trophy. Heck yeah. And then what's our rare? Our rare is Mausoleum Secrets. All right, well, like I said, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We're going to call it on that one. I haven't been able to say that honestly in, in, in a while. And I'm happy that I got this. We're going to go ahead and just sleeve that bad boy up. All righty. Box just got good. All right, what else we got? Can we top it? I mean, not really. We got Thousand Year Storm. I mean, it's not worth a whole lot, but I am liking that card. I am really, I'm liking that card. I've been playing something that uses that and not exceptionally consistent, but man, is it fun. We got in our foil. We got ourselves a uh, Vigor Spore Worm. And then our rare in this pack is a well, is it Viceroy? Does that make that makes five? Uh, yeah, this is still the same box. We still got three packs of that box too. Man, solid box. Let's see what we can do down here. That makes two foil rares for this box. All right. Shut the front door. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Did I mix up piles or something? I don't. I may have. I may have mixed up piles because that's gross. <laughs> Doom Whisper, man, good, good stuff. What do we get here? We got the uh, oh, response and resurgence. How are we at on time? We're sitting at twelve minutes, and we have went through a box. I'm digging it. What do we get here? We got ourselves. Not that card. Uh, oh, a mission briefing. Sweet. All right. Let's go ahead and scoot this stack back. Go on to that next stack. Yeah, I tell you what, if that was one box right there, holy cats, that was just nuts. We got ourselves, um, oh, the uh, Venerated Loxodon. That guy's kind of good. In pre-release, he was nuts. I'm just going to put a big old 4-4 fatty out of the battlefield. Oh, by the way, my team just got bigger, too. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got a Bounty of Might as our rare. I mean, it doesn't really do anything outside of uh, limited in limited, though. Man, is that gross. So many times. You know what I had that used on most against me? That Apex Hawk. The 1-1 one, one lifelink. Turning it into a 10-10 is just value. Oh, we got a foil. We got a foil watcher in the mist with another mission briefing. Sweet. Fun, fun, fun. <clears throat> Sorry, folks, I got a frog in my throat or something. Next rare is we got uh, Expansion and Explosion. I think it's, yeah, it's okay. More Is It Goodness. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Our next rare is Erratic Cyclops. Man, I am... Wanting less erratic Cyclops and more risk factor. And we got uh, Tajik Legion's Edge. That's not a bad card. Not a bad card. All right. Next one is <laughs> Hatchery Spider. 
Oh, yeah. Well, so far, this box isn't shaping up to be as good as that one we first went through. But we still got a ways to go. We got a foil wand of vertebrae. That's kind of cool. And then we got ourselves a dawn of hope. Now, just curious, if we could get it down quick enough, what would y'all think about us cranking a case all at one time on here? We got a uh, quasi-duplicate. Uh, that just seems like fun right there. Another one that I believe Mr. Uh, JJ Freeze, uh, MTG strategist, is currently working on breaking. The decks he comes up with, man. Shout out to MTG Strategist. That dude is just... He comes up with some gnarly stuff that's just insane. We got Nacromoeba. Narcomoeba. There we go. Not Nacro. Narco. Like, see like the drug kingpin of the illusion world? I don't know. All right, we got a... Uh, Omnispell Adept. Another one that... Uh, Mr. Strategist is currently working with, um, and I've actually played that deck, and it is all sorts of fun. Next one is, we got a Temple Garden. Nope, oh, missed the pack. All right, we're on to the uh, next stack, second of the box, or fifth of uh, our video. Where is Gruesome Menagerie? Rare, and this one is a Steam Vents. All right, I think that's two of them in here so far. So, yeah, not doing too shabby. What's y'all's favorite pull so far, or what's one thing you've wanted to pull most? Uh, we got an Emera, Soul of the Accord. For me, it's 100% risk factor. Um, I made the mistake of not buying them right off the bat. And they just been kind of creeping up, and I kind of wish they uh, would come back down just for a quick second. Uh, Runaway Steamkin, that's actually, that's good stuff. I pulled him at pre-release. Let me tell you how good that is, and that Gravatic Punch, so good. So good. Next rare is Ritual of Soul. I'm starting to think that maybe one of those stacks was... I got something switched around here because we're not pulling nothing out of this. Uh, we did get a foil uh, Mephetic Vapors. And then our rare from this pack is a Beast Whisperer. Put that in the wrong stack. I'll move this off again. Like I said, we're... Uh, <laughs> Not getting a whole lot here. This is going to change right here, though. Boom. Uh, we got Firemind Research. Okay, I mean, it's not awful. Um, it's not great, though. Tell you, we're going to kind of scoot and then... Because I'm getting crowded here. All right, there we go. There we go. Now we're thinking with power. All right, hurry it up, Chuck. We're starting to run low, 19 minutes. Uh, we got an uh, Azoni, Thousand-Eyed. Next pack is... Not that. It is a... Oh, Legion War, War Boss. That's, that's good stuff. Boros Goblins is what... Uh, I, I know it's what I built on MTGO, and it just, it seems fun. Um, you know, it is fun, and it's good. Um, it's really good. Uh, I've been having fun with some other stuff, but it's still pretty good. We got another Assassin's Party. This one is not full, but that's okay. Let's see. Next up, we've got a, oh, we got a Foil Gateway Plaza. And then we got a Citywide Bust. Last pack of that stack that has produced not a single 
uh, mythic. Actually, the last two stacks have not produced a single mythic. We have a Niv Mizzet Parum. I love you, Nim. I really do. Or Nim. Niv. But I'm not digging this new version of you. I mean, it seems kind of on par with the rest of them, and I was kind of hoping for a little more. All right, our rare is, oh, we got a foil uh, Righteous Blow. And then we got, there we go, a March of Multitudes. Another mythic. There we go. I thought we were starting to run a bit low. Rare in this pack is... Dude, this is hard when you're going through everything like this. Uh, Thief of Sanity. Yeah, when you're not going through the uh, uncommons, uh, they seem to want to stick together a little better. All right, rare of this pack is not that. It is a Sacred Foundry. Is it me or... You know, I'm going to have to go back and check uh, when I'm editing this video. If I'm not mistaken, we've pulled Guild Gates with all of our uh, Shocklands, and I think they've been on color. And Watery Grave. And, of course, that just proved me a liar. All right, rock on. So we're going to have to pull some pretty serious mythics here um, to stay on par. We actually, actually, we only need one more. Okay, so, may, you know, uh, maybe I was wrong. One more mythic keeps us on par for uh, having uh, four per box. Oh, we got a uh, Charnel Troll, and then we got a Foil Might of the Masses. Getting down to the nitty gritty. We got a foil guild mages form. That's like my second or third one that I've pulled with that. And then we got a uh, connive and concoct. Yeah, I pulled one of those at uh, at pre-release. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not bad. Um, it was fun for pre-release, but I don't see it really going anywhere else. All right, oh, we got a foil house guild mage. That's always fun. And then we got a... Uh, assure, assure, and assemble. As I knock over cards. All right, what do we got? Five packs left, six packs left. We're getting down there, and we're going to do this all in under 25 minutes. That is awesome. All right, we got a, another Narcomiba. So we were essentially able to open in t uh, two boxes in the time it would normally take. To open one box. I'd like to know what y'all think of this though. Uh, next rare is Night of Autumn. Now, do you miss seeing the, the commons and un well not really commons but the uncommons or is this acceptable to you? We got a foiled dead weight and then we got a ritual of soul. All right, we got a hey risk factor. All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I mean, it's really not that much, but it's just one I don't have to buy, so that's bonus. And I really like that card right now. Really like that card. As I bend cards. Uh, hey, we got another mythic. We got a, a mnemonic betrayal. That's always fun. And last pack, last pack of these two boxes, what can we get? What can we get? It is a hatchery spider. Oh, well. Okay, well, that is, uh, that's our two boxes that we, uh, we got going here. Um, we'll just do a quick flip through these uh, rares. Um, I don't remember exactly what prices are at. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, where did that risk factor? That's fun right there. Um, Sacred Foundry, that's, that's pretty good. Um, Assassin's Trophy, that's good. You know, what? I'm not even gonna I'll put that in the wrong path. I'm not even gonna flip through this just because we got there's a lot of cards here. Uh, I will go through the foils though. Um, let's see, we got a wand of vertebrae, we got a dead weight. Uh, 
House Guild Mage, Guild Mage's Forum, Might of the Masses, Righteous Blow, Gateway Plaza, uh, how is that pronounced? Uh, Mephitic Vapors, uh, Watcher in the Mist, uh, Vigor Spore Worm, Assassin's Trophy, yeah, Crackling Drake, uh, Devkaren Dissident, uh, Rubble Belt Boar, and then for our Mythics, uh, our Mythics didn't do too shabby on them. We got the Doom Whisper, not too bad, uh, Mnemonic Betrayal, uh, March of the Madness, we got a Rel Is It, that's always fun, Thousand Year Storm, eh, uh, Divine Visitation, uh, Dream Eater, that's all sorts of good, in Oriella, or Oriella, there we go. So that's what we got. Um, I'm digging it. Uh, I want to know what y'all think about busting this up like this to where we're opening uh, two boxes in one video. Um, I liked it, but I want to know what you all thought. Because uh, essentially we're doing this for you guys. So please, down in the comments below, let me know what you thought. And, uh, and we'll kind of go from there. So now if you liked what you saw here today, do us a huge favor. Click that like button. Be sure to hit subscribe. Be sure to hit that bell notification button so you can tell them we're coming out with new stuff, which is happening all the time. Uh, and then be sure to share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, Chuckwagon MTG. Now, if you could do us one last favor and check out this brief message about our sponsor. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.